Hey guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to create custom commands in Flask. So every time you run Flask, so by using Flask run, run is actually a command. And if you've ever used something like Flask migrate, then you're probably familiar with Flask DB migrate or upgrade or whatever it is you're doing for Flask migrate. So if you want to create your own commands for whatever reason, I'll show you how to do that now. So you need to import a couple of things before you can create a command. First, you need to import click. Click is the library that Flask uses to create these commands on the command line. Next, you need to import something called uh, with app context from flask.cli. So from flask.cli, import with underscore app context. And I'll explain what this does in a moment. And then for our example, we'll use Flask SQL Alchemy. So let me import that now. So Flask SQL Alchemy. Okay, so I already have my app instantiated. And in this example, what I want to do is basically create this database on the command line. So I'll create a URI. So SQL Alchemy database URI is going to be a SQLite database. And I'll just call it DB SQLite 3. And I'll create a simple table. So my table, uh, DB model, and then ID equals uh, DB column, not config, column integer and then the primary key is going to be true so this table obviously won't do anything it's only going to have one column in it because the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create a command so anytime you want to create a command first you use the decorator click dot command and you give your command a name so in this example i'm going to give my command the name create meaning create whatever database tables need to be created Second, and optionally, depending on what you're doing in the following function, you need to use with app context. So with app context, put all the app information in this function so the function can use that information in some way. So because I'll be creating a table on the database, I have to actually have the database configuration. And the database configuration is on the app object here. So if I didn't have with app context, when I try to run the command, Flask will try to run it independently of the rest of your app. And because I won't have the configuration for the database, it will fail. So I need this with app context so I can get that database configuration. So anytime you're using any kind of configuration on your app in your command, you need to use with underscore app context. So finally, you can create a function and I'll just name it the same as the name. And inside of the function you just do whatever it is that you want the command to do so in my case i wanted to create all the tables in the database that haven't been created yet and since this is sqlite it will also go ahead and create the database itself if it hasn't already been created so to do that you just use db uh, dot create all and i realize i'm missing something so i need to instantiate this so db equals sqlite or sql alchemy and then pass in the app object and then I can call db.create all here in create. And the last thing I need to do is put this command on my Flask app. So I use app.cli.add command. And then you pass in the name of the function, which is just create. So once you do all those things, then you can run your command. So if I do Flask create, what I'm expecting to happen is it creates a new SQLite database. I'll see the file appear here on the left hand side. And then when I go into the database, I should see. The table so it worked it gave me the standard sql alchemy track modifications warning but that's not an issue so you see on the left hand side i have the database and if i open up the database and do tables we see i have a single table called my table because it created a table based off this class here so of course the commands can be as complicated as you want it just depends on what you're doing in your app i actually use this very command in an example app that I created about a week ago. So if you want to see how to organize the command in a more fully featured app that has more files, then I suggest you watch that video. So I'll link it at the end of this video so you can go watch that one next. So that's it for creating a custom command in Flask. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.